There are two common models of moving robots. The robots with legs can overcome obstacles, but they are slow. While robots with wheels are fast, but they overcome obstacles with difficulty. For this reason, the two ideas were combined and a robot with a legged wheel was obtained. The design was chosen to contain two side legs with a back support. The single leg was built using the five bar linkage principle. And this is a study of the leg moving using Fusion 360. Because of having a new moving model, we have to get a new control model too. And to do that we choose AI, specifically reinforcement learning. But to use it we need a simulation environment. Choosing the Pi Bullet simulation environment, the robot can be trained in random situations to get the desired controlling model. The first hurdle in building the simulation model involved using the URDF, which is based on a tree building system. This clashed with the closed structure of the robot's leg model, which has five linkage bars. The problem was addressed by utilizing kinematics equations to establish a constraint at the leg's end. To add challenges to the robot's training, a wavy surface was generated using noise within the blender, so the robot can be trained to balance on several wavy surfaces. Also, we need to generate a winding path for the robot to follow using noise functions. In the reinforcement learning part, we chose the actor critic algorithm and the gymnasium library from OpenAI to train the robot in the environment. The model's inputs are centered around various aspects of the robot, including rotation, the state along the path, feet positioning, current speed, and current drift. Correspondingly, the actions within the environment involve defining a new foot state and adjusting the speed and the drift. For the reward function, it is defined by specific parameters to ensure optimal performance. And these include preventing the robot's body from colliding with the ground, keeping the wheels grounded without lifting, maintaining the stability of the robot base to prevent tilting, and optimizing the distance covered along the specified path. Now we obtain the robot AI model. To make the robot react with the real world, the robot must be able to see. And to do that, we use two cameras for 3D vision using a stereo vision system. And this is the project diagram. The images and angles of the motors are sent from the Raspberry Pi to the server, laptop, where the images are processed and analyzed using the RTAB map algorithm. Based on this data and the angle values, the trained model in the Pi Bullet makes a decision and sends new angles to the motors. Thanks for watching.